Hey everybody, this is Hadrian. Thanks for watching. Let's play more of our tutorial in Civilization 5. So we just got a World Congress vote pop up at the end of the last episode, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because we got another ally in a city-state, another city-state as an ally, we now have eight delegates at our command. Let's see if we can find out how these people are going to vote. So Casimir is in... F <coughs> Gosh, sorry guys. Casimir is in favor of banning the spices. Wow, there's a lot of people in favor of banning spices. But also there are people in favor of banning... The, I know this because I have a diplomat in their capital. You can see from this icon there. So I'm going to have to fight back against their votes. I'm probably going to put the majority of my votes against that. And I'll put two into cultural heritage sites and hope that that's enough to get my way in both turns. I don't want luxury... Uh, I don't want the ban luxury spices proposal to be passed because I'll, my happiness will reduce. I have a bunch of spices. And I also want the cultural heritage sites because that will mean extra culture for every world wonder we have. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Right now we're at plus 381 culture, so we'll see how much that changes. All right, so in Antium, let me go ahead and build a castle. A barracks in Arpinum. No. Seven gold per turn for salt? Sure. I think we already had that deal going. I didn't even read the... Yeah, fine. I didn't read the, the screen, but I think that might have been a deal we already had. So plus 31 culture now, but hopefully if that passed, the cultural heritage sites, plus 31 will go up to something else. Yep, plus 477. Ooh, that's awesome. Porcelain Tower is done. A great scientist appears near the city where the wonder was built, and 50% more science generated from research agreements. Great news. So we have a great scientist here. We're going to use him. We instantly finished researching rifling, and we got a bunch of extra science, so we will probably be able to have a, a lot of progress towards the next technology we research as well. I'm going to go ahead and build uh, walls in Rome, because we need to start buffing up our cities. Barracks in Neapolis. Walls in Aratium. Walls are a precursor building to castles, and castles are going to be really important for us to have just across the board very soon, and I'll show you why when we get to them. So, make a proposal. Do we have... By the way, we did, in, in fact, get our way. Culture Heritage Sites was passed. The ban on the luxury spice... Uh, the ban on the spices luxury was not passed. So that's good news. Let's see if... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna... There's so many different options here. I'm just gonna suggest natural heritage sites. It's not something that's going to be particularly helpful to us. This is kind of a throwaway proposal because there's not a very helpful proposal waiting on us right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and research scientific theory because we have a bunch of research going toward it and it's going to be done in one turn as a result because of that great scientist. So that's good news. The city of Kume wants furs, the city of Ravenna wants furs, and Arpinum wants incense. All right, influence with Tyre has degraded to where we're nearly no longer friends. That problem is fixed. We're now allies with Tyre. <laughs> so we got some additional happiness from them. I just gave them a thousand gold. So we've got an additional uh, additional delegate now in the World Congress. And looks like our archaeologist is ready to construct an archaeological dig. Unfortunately, it will remove the forest tile. So food will go down in that tile, as will culture. <laughs> so that was your proposal, huh? Portugal was the one trying to ban spices. Portugal's got it out for us. I don't like you either, Portugal. Askia has made peace with Tyre, probably because Tyre was allied with someone else that was at war with Askia. Vatican City is not happy with me right now because two of my caravels are within their borders. Why are you guys both there? This is what I'm talking about. The and there's another one! <laughs> Two of them sailed away and another one sailed in. 
See, the, the auto explorer does not respect the borders of city states. That's why I don't always do it. All right, choose production. In Rome, let's build a castle. Ooh, public school in Antium, definitely. Plus one science for every two citizens in this city. Plus just a base, plus three science. Um, so that's definitely something that you want to have. We're starting to get some pretty cool buildings, of course, now that uh, we're getting higher up in the production chains. All right, so we're building walls with the purpose of building castles after the walls. We're going to adopt a policy here. Plus one gold from science buildings. So right now we're making 150 gold every turn. Now we're making 181. <laughs> Notice because we've built some military units, our gold income is coming down. Also, this is just happening from building maintenance as well. So we're not making quite as much money as we were. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. I'm going to go ahead and research dynamite because that'll give us the ability to have artillery. And that will, artillery will be a big help um, because we should be able to fire on Vatican City from, I believe, these tiles. I think artillery, yep, firing from three tiles away. So we'll be able to position units here and here and fire on Vatican City. It'll be very easy to hit them and conquer their territory. Artillery is going to be a useful tech. I think I probably just said that in three or four different ways, didn't I? <laughs> I had someone tell me one time, dude, you're definitely a writer because you just said the same thing to me in three different ways. <laughs> right. All right, so there's that. All right, we're going to build a castle in Eratium, a castle in Arpinum. Castles also are improving the fortification. Notice that these numbers are rising. Our city's combat strength are, are just getting perpetually higher as a result of the new buildings that we have going up. Rome's castle is almost done, so that's good. It'll make all the castles building everywhere else faster because we are the Roman Empire, and that's how that works. Also, it looks like we have enough faith to purchase maybe a couple of missionaries. So I think what I might do is purchase a couple of Inquisitors and send them to yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do an inquisitor yeah I'm gonna do a couple of inquisitors actually and we'll do we'll have another one in Rome and send them to Neapolis public school definitely in Rome let's do a factory in Neapolis walls in Ravenna castle in Mediolanum. Again, there's a method to my madness building all these castles. Just stay tuned. As soon as the castles are done, all of these cities that are building them, I'm generally going to have them building military units. So we're going to start moving up towards Vatican City. The AI will not like it. And when I mean the AI, I'm talking about all of them. All right, we're using our Inquisitor now. So our Arpenum is now purely pagan. We're going to send this Inquisitor up to Neapolis. All of the AI will get mad at me when I attack a city-state. But I want Vatican City. They're just in traditional Roman territory, and I'm just I'm too much of a, of a Romanophile to be playing on a real-world map of Europe and the world and not at least have Vatican City in my control. Singapore, I might let stand. Because they give us happiness. <laughs> because they make us happy. But Vatican City needs to go away. Antananarivo desires a trade route. I don't know whose that was. to a rifleman in Antium. Uh, ooh, a zoo in Arpinum. All right, this Inquisitor is ready outside of Neapolis, so we're going to remove all of those heresies from Neapolis, and instantly Neapolis is a 10-follower um, pagan city. 
notice Rome's pressure is finally higher now. So that number might be related to the cities around it. Yeah, that makes sense. If pressure is based on the number of cities that follow a certain religion and then you have cities within a certain distance of each other, as the cities become increasingly... Um, of one religion, then pressure will increase in that city. All right, so let's do a museum in Kume. And probably going to need some ships as well. So let me go ahead and build a frigate in Medulanum. My coastal cities are going to need to put out some ships. Because we're just we're gonna need to do some damage. Portugal has adopted the autocracy ideology. Okay. So there's now another ideology in the world. Our culture bonus from having won the World's Fair is gone now, so we're not making as much culture every turn anymore, but we're still bringing in 236 culture every single turn. A great engineer has been born in Rome. That's good. We're gonna leave him there. Or at least right in that vicinity. Because again, any wonders that I want to build, those great engineers can help me complete them instantly. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and build the Brandenburg Gate. If you didn't see what that does, a great general is going to appear near the city. And, 15, and I'll get an extra 15 EXP for everything built in the city. So that's worth having, considering that we're about to launch a large-scale invasion. I'm going to build a frigate in Ravenna. And uh, let me go ahead and build a factory in Aratium, because I need faster production there. We'll do a factory in Cerce too. Okay, our archaeologist is finished. Looks like there's another archaeological site that's about to enter our territory as well. So, this is a Roman artifact from the ancient era. We have two choices. The artifact can be placed in the nearest great work of art slot and will provide two more culture and two more tourism. Or we can create a landmark improvement and it will provide culture based on its age. Plus one culture per era older this um, older than this Civ's current era. So right now, this is an ancient era artifact and we're in the industrial era. So one, two, three, four. So basically provide four culture. I think I'm going to create a Roman artifact instead, so it can actually go towards uh, generating some tourism. There we go. Plus two tourism. So I can talk about tourism in just a second. That's a cultural victory um, mechanic. So waiting for the turn to pass. In two turns, we'll have the ability to build artillery, and we can really start thinking seriously about coming up here and just kicking the crap out of Vatican City. It'll, it'll happen fast. Okay, so this caravan... Where are you going? All right, this caravan is in an inconvenient spot right now because I need to send this engineer into Rome, but because this caravan is in Rome, I can't do anything. That's annoying. All right, I'm going to build an armory, which is the next level of the barracks. Build an armory in Arpinum as well. I'm going to promote this unit that was just built. And we're going to send them up here, because we are sincerely preparing, I promise, at long last, to attack Vatican City. I can't do anything with you right now because of that freaking caravan, so sorry. Engineer, you're just going to have to wait. I would love to finish the Brandenburg Gate, uh this turn, but I can't because the caravan. <laughs> Alright, so we are about to complete dynamite. Which is so exciting. Get to blow things up. We are losing our grasp on Cape Town. That's fine. We have almost 2,000 gold. We should be able to get Cape Town back. Done. And also, we have enough faith to purchase a unit, so we're going to research an Inquisitor. 
or purchase an Inquisitor, rather. Oh, but there are no... Crap! There are no Pagans in Circe, so using the Inquisitor there would be meaningless. Where could I use it? Ooh, Kume. Definitely in Kume. There's four followers of um, Catholicism in Kume, so we need to get rid of them. Let's see... We're going to research steam power next because that's going to enable us to research the railroad. And the railroad will explain why I was building all those castles. What is going on here? Is this caravan not doing anything? Have you just been sitting on your butt? Trade with... I don't know... Uh, yeah, go take food to Cersei. Now there's still a caravan in the city, but at least that one's doing something. I didn't notice that, but that caravan that was just sitting in Rome, maybe I gave them sleep orders by accident a while back, but they were just sitting there. They weren't doing anything. That was weird. Was it Cape Town that I was about to lose? No, I gave them gold. Okay. So I'm definitely not about to lose them anymore. I have double the influence that I need to remain friends with them. All right, so a bunch of our trade deals just ended. We're going to keep auto-exploring there. All right, finally we can move the Great Engineer back into Rome. This Inquisitor... I'm tempted to go ahead and just use him on Neapolis again. <laughs> but we're going to put him down in Kume. It's going to take two turns for the Inquisitor to get there. Just wait we have railroads, and it'll be even faster for all of these units to move through our territory. All right, Antium, let's go ahead and build an arsenal there as well. Arsenal is the follow-up building to the castle, so it just gives you extra strong uh, city defense. Vatican City has a city strength of 54. Okay, so we're going to hurry production on the Brandenburg Gate, and we're going to build a farm there. Our frigate's done, so we're going to send our frigate up here. It'll take five turns, but that fr frigate can help us attack Vatican City. Frigate's done here as well, it's perfect. So we're going to put them right in there. And we're going to build a public school in Kume, and a public school in Ravenna, and a public school in Mediolanum. That technology boost is important. It's worth pursuing for a second. Now, we also have the ability to build artillery now. So I'm going to start building a few of those units as well. Casimir is secretly plotting against Askia. Let's share the intrigue with him. Our Inquisitor is ready, so we're going to use him. Kume is now purely pagan. And it will also take more effort now for Catholicism to reach all the way down to Kume because it's so far away from the other Christian cities. You really want the whales. What 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 do they do for you that's so great? It's just extra happy it's it's just extra happiness and I don't think you even get those bonuses of food and gold because you're not actually working the whales. That wouldn't make any sense. I sincerely do not understand why they're so pumped up about getting whales. The whole AI is like, "We want your whales." And I'm just like, "No." <laughs> A great general appears near the city where the wonder was built. A great writer has been born in the city of Rome, so that's great news. Instant 723 culture, yes please. Okay, small caveat. Notice that I just consumed a writer and we're well above the amount of culture we need for the next policy, but it's not saying adopt a policy. The game will not give you the option automatically to adopt a policy on the next turn, so sometimes you have to keep an eye, until the next turn rather. Um, it'll do it on the next turn, but it won't do it this turn. So you have to keep an eye on stuff like that when you are using the great writers. It'll do it with the great scientists, fine. It'll give you the technology right away if you cross the threshold, for instance, with the great scientist when you generate all that science. But we just used a great writer to generate a bunch of culture 
we went well above the mark, but the game's not telling us to do anything. So you have to go into social policies and deliberately pick something. So I'm going to go ahead and go with scientific revolution because this is not necessarily useful, but that is. Adopting all policies will give you a free technology and we can purchase great scientists with faith starting in the industrial era. There are some really cool bonuses as well that I really want in ideology, but I want that free technology more than anything. So that's what we're going to do. Choose production. All right. Let's build some artillery in Rome. Our free tech is going to be... I think we're researching steam power right now, right? Yeah, we are. All right, we're going to research biology. So we've discovered oil in one, two, three places, one of which is uh, going to require an offshore oil rig. So we'll send these workers to that oil. All right, this is our great general. We're going to send him up to Neapolis to help lead the fight against Vatican City. We've got some artillery units being built. I think we pretty much have all the units that we'll need to conquer Vatican City. Should go pretty quickly. We're almost to the turn of the century here. It's 1898. Actually, this is the turn of the century now. It should tick up to 1900 as soon as this turn cycles. There we go. 1980. All right, on that note, I think I'm actually going to cut this episode here, and we will, again, continue preparing in earnest to attack Vatican City. I haven't been focused on military throughout the tutorial just because uh, we've had all of Africa to ourselves. So, you know, now I'm shifting gears and it's taken me a second, so thank you for your patience. But we'll take Vatican City, and we'll probably fairly soon declare war on Poland as well, just because I want that city. I want this territory. It's just, I don't like that uh, that they moved into the Europe area before I did. So we're going to take that back. And if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I upload new episodes in the Civilization 5 tutorial every day at noon Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus four, for those of you not in the States. And if the Civ 5 tutorial is over, I'll do something else in kind of a grand or historical strategy um, type vein in this slot. So Stay tuned for that in case this is already done. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next episode.